Hello again everyone, this is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart. In this options trading tutorial, we're going to take a look at a trade on Nike from September of 2016 that returned 75% profit in a three-week period, so stay tuned. Okay, what you see here on the chart on the page is right off of what I use on my insider members trade ideas page. So this is how I put it out on September 6th, the evening of September 6th. I said, here's the setup I'm looking for two consecutive closes below the 10 exponential moving average. And it's a sell signal sell at this price. Here's my suggested option. Given the, this entry price, the option was going to be slightly in the money. We are, November, we are September 6th. We're working a standard expiration option. So the third Friday of the month option. And so we're talking about about six weeks out. So plenty of time premium left in this. Should hold the time premium fairly well as it moves on with the trade. The stop I'm using is a consecutive close greater than a 10 EMA, EMA because I wanted to avoid any bizarre fluctuations that, that could whip you out. My initial target is $55.34. So let's take a look at this. And so here we are. Here's the uh, September 6th, the second bar below the 10. The blue line is the 10 exponential moving average. The blue gray line is a 21 simple. Uh, the red is a 55 simple and the green is 144 simple. I use Fibonacci numbers on my simple and 10 is my trigger line. So now we got two consecutive closes below the 10. And so I'm looking for a break of that low right here. So at 57.20 would be a break of that low, that two day low. And that's the entry price I'm looking for. So we got that on no, on September 7, right? So that's why I say on September 7, bought to open three, October 57 and a half puts at 210 asked, okay? So for purposes of the trade ideas, as I explain on these videos, we always enter at the ask and sell at the bid just to keep it simple. Uh, conservative numbers for using in the trade idea and executing. So now the target is what? $55.34. So here, here we are. Uh, here's our entry point. So our target's down here at $55.34. So let's see how this progresses. So we come on down and we got some pretty quick movements. So we, here's our entry day. And then one, two, two days later, we hit our target. So what do we do? We hit our target. We sold two out of the three. Sold two at 305 bid. So decent little profit, not huge, close to 50%, right? 50% would have been more like, uh, I don't know, slightly higher. Uh, and so now I'm like, okay, I'm going to hold one contract and see what else this will give me. So the stop on the remaining contract is break even, which means if we get back to the original entry price of uh, 210 on the bid, if the bid on the option ever got back to 210, I was going to exit because I didn't want to ha take any kind of loss on the third, second half of the position uh, that would subtract from the profit gained on the first half, okay? Now, I say half because mo usually I do even numbered positions. In this case, it was three. So stop is break even, or if the price, if the close on the stock was greater than a two-day high, I was also going to exit. So what do we get? We come on down here. It keeps kind of trending, keeps kind of moving to the downside, keeps riding down, riding down. We never get a close above the two-day high. This was close. The high here was $55.44. We closed at $55.41, so no exit. We stay in, okay? We're still in. And then what happened was we got a pretty big downdraft that occurred. We got outside the Keltner channels on this move. And then on the next day, when it moved back inside the Keltner channels, I decided that, okay, we'd had a decent ride. It'd been three weeks. Uh, that was enough. Okay, so we exited the contract on that day on the 30th. And that is the 30th right here at 490 bit. Okay, so entered at 210, got out at 490 bid. And when you average the two at this at 305 and one at 490, it comes out to 
$157 a contract or 74.6% profit on the trade. So that was the trade idea. Nice trade, you know, came on down. Uh, now, yeah, did it come a little bit further? Yeah, it did, but then it kind of bounced around. If I would have held to a pure close greater than a two-day high, I would have been out over here at 52.44. And where did I get out? Right, you know, somewhere in this bar here. So I wouldn't have gained that much. And I would have lost time premium for, you know, two, four, six, eight more trading days. So this worked out very, very, very well. So can't complain about that. All right. If you felt like this video was helpful, hit the like button. And if you uh, and subscribe, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, please subscribe. And if you can think of someone who benefit from the video, share the video with them. And if you want to get more of these trade ideas on a regular basis, more real time, become an insider member. Click on the link on the screen to learn more. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Have a great rest of the week. Talk to you on the next video.